for. Let's get over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as we do each and every Tuesday. Don't forget, folks, Basil has an outstanding program here every trading day, 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time. Also a great newsletter, the opening call. Now, it's very easy to get Basil's uh, newsletter, the opening call, folks. Come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to go into newsletters. You're going to see it right on the left-hand side. You can get the opening call for one month for $149. You get it for six months for $695, which is a savings of $199 or 22%. You get it for one full year for $1,195, which is a savings of $593 or 33%. Now, they all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Basil has a huge amount of archives, approximately 11 to 12 on the site. So bottom line, you're going to get a great newsletter. You're going to get a lot of archives, meaning how Basil looks at the, pro, it looks at the market each and every day and how we ride this wave. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Well, talk about waves. This is a bumpy one, that's for sure. Yeah. What, what we're looking at, you know, it was like, I think it may be three weeks ago. It could even be four weeks ago. What I say to you is, there's a particular technical tool that I've used for a long time, and there's a certain way that I look at it. And as long as that remains positive, then you have to use other tools to get the turn. So I spoke to you about this nine, four, nine period moving average over the 14 or under the 14 period moving average. And I said in the daily chart of the Dow, here's the one on the left, this is the weekly in the middle, or the monthly on the right. Um, all the technicals are really strong. I have to use a different technique in which I can get some kind of a sell signal in the Dow, and then it has to be upgraded to a sell mode. And I, I did that on the, on the very day of the high, August the 1st at 35,679 was the high. That was the day we actually shorted the Dow. Uh, we still have call long positions from way back, but we wanted on a trading position. But I'd say to you, and I'm going to move this over to this particular chart right here. Now, Basil, what you're saying, I just want to go over this just for a second. So what you're saying is that all the indices are under the nine right now. No. So what, yes. What I'm saying is, let me, I'll get you it right now. What I am saying is that all the technicals in the daily, weekly, and monthly chart of the Dow were very strong. One technical indicator that I used, which is on balance volume, gave me a sell signal on the first in the Dow. Okay. And now I'm going to show you something very interesting. So this nine period moving average, the chart that I showed you this last week as well, I said that the chart that I'm showing you has this nine period moving average green right. when it is over the black 14 period moving average. It did go pink back in May for a while and then it went back to green. It's been ever since, and I spoke about in, internal highs and residual highs, and I thought that this, this M-shaped pattern right here was going to give me some kind of a sell signal, which it did. <clears throat> However, look at this. Even this morning when the market was really 400 points, the Dow was down 400 points, the market came back, and that nine-period moving average still hasn't closed lower. So even though we are, we are, we are still we are short this particular position and as we are still in the money, look at what's happened to the S&P. <clears throat> the S&P. Today went pink, finally, and it only had one or two pink days back in May, but it's been green ever since April. What was it? April the, uh, no, that's March the 28th. This nine period moving average, even with all the vicissitudes, all these sharp pullbacks, that green period only now has gone pink. Look at the QQQ. Same thing. This one also only went uh, for a brief period back in May. Also back in March, it turned green. But now you can see it's starting to come back quite sharply. Look at the um, IWM, Russell 2000. This is the daily chart because the 9 was so strongly over the 14, yeah. even with this very big weakness. And actually, the IWM has given back quite a bit from the high of just a few days ago. It's still green. So this is an indicator that I like to use. I use it uh, sometimes at my peril because I try to use other things. To, and I'm always looking to try to get a top or a bottom. And one of the things is if you can get almost the exact high or the low, it just gives you some room to breathe with all these bounces like yesterday's bounce. Everything still held nicely, but then I wanted to show you something else. Within the context of candles, uh, there was this, almost a doji candle at the high of August the 1st, and it came down sharply, and then it gave what I call an inverted red Chapman Wave Roman candle uh, on, uh, what's today? Today's uh, Tuesday, so that was on Friday. And I said, if we 
can see the Dow up over 35,000, I think uh, 370, I think I said for 35 minutes, there's a chance we could test close to the previous high. That's Friday's high. Well, we didn't get there. We had a really good, strong move, didn't take out Friday's high. And then today we took out the low of Friday. I mean, if ever you're looking at volatility, it doesn't look like it on this chart. But if you're live right here in the den and you're looking at these prices, this is these are big moves. And now the candle, as we're talking, the candle is really not, it's quite a bullish candle, actually. And the nine is still over the 14. So it's a step-by-step -step process. But what I have said is that the SMHs, the semiconductors, kind of give clues. And they made a double top high on the 31st of July, 161.17. Uh, a, day, a day, two days later, at, just before the open, we actually shorted this. And it's been quite successful. But my contention is that the semis usually lead the markets up and down. Within the very short term, you can get variations. So I'm watching this very closely because from the action I'm looking at now, it seems to me that there are, we've taken off quite a, quite a number of positions within the longs that we have so that we've whittled down to keep a core position. I think I might be looking at putting some of them back now in certain areas because today was the opportunity to close really ugly. It could still happen. The day is young. But I think that this is actually not bad action at all. And it's telling me that the, that fund managers are trying to use the dips to buy and that until I get, and I'm going to go back to this again, until I really get this nine period moving average and you can actually see in the SMHs, the SMHs look at deflected lower. So that is an S. That means that the nine's going to be negative from tomorrow. Um, until I can get the Dow, that nine period moving average turned pink and hold pink for about three sessions. I, this is just waves. It's like riptides. Ba waves are buying and selling, but I'm seeing one by one the key I indexes like the uh, S&P, like the Qs, like the SMHs, like the IWM start to falter here. So I think that we, in a consolidation phase, it didn't go down as quickly. And that's the thing about this nine period moving average. I'd warn subscribers. I said it's not going to be easy when that nine still stays over the 14. Uh, it's, I call it my technical tool of last. Uh, this is the, the law, like, like the Fed is the, the bank of last resort. So this is a particular indicator I use as last resort because it's still holding. The other ones have been very weak. So I can see that there's, I went to the test today and we've got the test. And that tells me that there's a rotation going on and that if you're in the right sectors within the rotation, you might be able to alleviate the, in the, the tension of, of some of the indexes going down deeper. But I, I'm, I'm actually impressed with today's action. I didn't think I'd be at the uh, beginning of the day, but I am now. Yeah, no, there's no doubt. You made a great analogy there. There's no doubt. They're like a riptide. <laughs> it is. Listen, <laughs> folks, it's very easy to get Basil's newsletter. Come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to go into newsletters. You're going to see it right on the right-hand side. Hit that button. It's the opening call. Basil, you have a great night, a safe night. We look forward to the show tomorrow morning. Thank you very much, Tom. Thank you. you. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. We have the Dow Industrials right now down 154. NASDAQ's off 123. S&Ps are off 22. We'll come right back.